was November 8th, and I was already at full draw on our number one target buck we call Flyer. Could not see him through my beep. Not enough to check that there was a clear shooting lane. an arrow at a buck and I'm pretty sure I heart punched him now well, finally got me a buck down in Ohio been at one heck of a season so this is the fifth day of the hunt um, we got over here Thursday, there was just bucks running crazy. I almost killed the biggest buck on the place. Then I saw another big 10. Um, I ended up seeing this buck out of the same tree two days ago and I didn't get a shot at him. And uh, I checked that camera out there and had some pictures of him. And uh, this turns out to be the eight point that we had in here last year. And uh, he was just a nice two and a half year old. I think he's three this year. Got a really nice, split brow on him got good mass tall really pretty buck really happy with him it's been a really tough year for me i've put in more time already than i did last year the whole season combined and uh just took a little extra time this time to get it done but really happy with this buck funny thing is i shot him watched him run out this flat and fall over dead and the uh, the bigger buck that we were after walked into 15 yards and was staying in there, and I could have killed him too, but my tag was already filled. Really pretty buck. November 17th, evening sit. So I had scouted the next ridge over a couple weeks ago. There was a really fresh scrape over there, so I put a camera up on it. Got some deer, not very many, some small bucks. I did get one pretty good looking buck. I can't tell much about him, picture's blurry. But I wanted to get that camera before gun season, which is Monday. So I come out that ridge, grab that camera, not much sign back there. So I decided just to throw my stuff on and come over to the next finger ridge and see if there was any sign. My plan was if there was sign to set up. If not, I was going to go to the next ridge over. So I got out here and there is sign everywhere. There's like five fresh scrapes within 30 yards of me and just tons of rubs that are still green. I mean, they've been made this week. So, I picked a, uh, a tree in this, there's an old uh, four-wheeler trail. There's an intersection right here, and it looks like these deer are just running up and down this trail. There's tracks everywhere. So, I just set up right on the trail uh, within shooting distance of it. I climbed a tree over here to my left first because it looked like a good tree but when I got set up in it, it I figured out it was dead and all the bark was peeling off of it so it made me a little nervous so I climbed down out of it and come up in this poplar tree and man I don't have much in the way of shots it's so thick up here 
this ridge top is just nasty thick. So we've got a southwest wind today and it's blowing straight over this ridge behind me. And this kind of comes out into a knob out here. And I would suspect that if there's any bucks up here today that they're bedded on the back side of this knob with that southwest wind. So this road right here behind me leads up out of that hillside and there's a big fresh scrape right here below me. So I think that this is just a travel area for these bucks going between this bedding area and the one on the back side of the next ridge over. That's my theory anyway. Um, I would dare say that this spot has had zero pressure. There has been nobody in here. So, pretty excited about that. There's definitely deer in here. I mean, there's just a lot. Probably the most sign, buck sign that I've seen in probably the last five years, which is crazy. So, I know there's a good buck running in here somewhere. The sun just set on the last day of the West Virginia archery season before the rifle season comes in. This is the first year in several years actually that I haven't killed a buck with a bow before the rifle opener. Had some close calls. I missed one just didn't come together for me this year still got a little bit of time yet this evening but it's wrapping up pretty quick Yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That is a freaking nice eight point. <laughs> yes. I got to call dad. I cannot believe that he came in and worked that scrape right here. That is the first time I've ever set up on a scrape and had it work out. I don't know how big he is. He, he looks nice. Man, he looks really good laying right here. Right here. Well, guys, I hope you can see me. <laughs> if you saw my light set up, you'd have to laugh. This is tough to do uh, by yourself with no tripod or anything, but I did not expect to kill this buck tonight. So this is the buck I got on camera the next ridge over running a scrape line. So I found a super fresh scrape over there two weeks ago, put a camera on it. Didn't really get much on it, but I did get, I'm pretty sure it was this guy. And uh, come back in here today, I haven't been, I haven't hunted West Virginia at all in the last two weeks pretty much. Um, hunted this morning, didn't see anything. So this evening I decided to come out and grab this camera and uh, just kind of scout my way out this ridge because I hadn't been over here this year. And uh, I come out this ridge and there was fresh scrapes and rubs everywhere. I mean, you could tell they'd been made in the last couple days. So uh, I found an intersection in this road where there was two really fresh scrapes. So I kind of figured out what the wind was doing and I set up in this little pop or little big poplar tree over here and uh, I saw a 
small buck bumping some does and that was really about it i'd actually just done an interview kind of closing out the west virginia archery season you know because rifle season's coming in monday <clears throat> but i just done that interview and i heard something walking and i looked up in the road and here comes this buck walking in and i can tell that he was uh he was nice and wide had a good frame on him and i just decided i was shooting him at that point he walked into this first scrape and he was facing straight toward me and started working the scrape and he turned broadside at 17 yards and I absolutely smoked him with that iron wheel broadhead and he ran he didn't even run he kind of shuffled about 15 yards he didn't make it more than 15 yards and he just fell over dead I mean I just cannot believe it really pretty eight point probably a three-year-old buck this is a pretty tough area to hunt it's just hard to put it together on these deer um had a couple bucks I was after in the early season and uh, got close to them, but just didn't pull it together. And then ended up going to Ohio. Had a tough few days over there, but I ended up killing a really nice split brow nine. And uh, I was pretty happy with just doing that, you know. And then I come back here and just thought I'd get a hunt in before the rifle season came in. And I honestly didn't expect to uh, get a nice buck, but man, the Lord sure bless me. That's, that's there's just no doubt about it. You know, I put the time in, the hard work, but you know, I'm thankful for the ability to get out here and do this, and just really thankful for this nice buck.